Why do people get cancer? Cancer is caused by an accumulation of mistakes or mutations in your DNA, which is like the instruction manual for your body. Now, these mutations can be caused by smoking, sunburn, poor diet. However, unfortunately, some people are born with certain mutations already in their DNA, which make them more likely to get cancer during their lifetime. And this is called having cancer predisposition. Now, people have already studied predisposition to colon cancer by taking thousands of people who have the disease and comparing their DNA with thousands of people who don't. Using statistics, they have found the mistakes which most commonly occur within the DNA of those people with the disease, and these are called predisposing mutations. So we know those mutations exist, but those types of studies don't do anything to tell us how they predispose to cancer. My PhD aims to find this out, because understanding the mechanism of predisposition will allow us to do more effective screening of people at high risk of colon cancer and may allow us to design better therapies in the future. Now, the main hypothesis I am testing is that these mistakes are causing errors in alternative splicing. Now, to explain alternative splicing, let me take you back to the year 2000, when scientists first sequenced the whole human genome and so were able to read every instruction written in every gene in our DNA. Now, the scientists had originally estimated you would need a minimum of 100,000 different instructions in order to build a whole human. However, they only actually found 20,000 different genes. How can this be? Scientists don't always get it right, I can tell you that. Now, the answer came from alternative splicing, which is the way that instructions get sent from the DNA into the cell to be interpreted. Now, DNA lives in the nucleus of the cell, and each gene sends out an instruction made of RNA, which is similar to DNA, but is simpler and less stable. Now, it turns out that each gene is not a fixed instruction, as the scientists had assumed, but it's actually made up of interchangeable blocks, which can be thought of like words in a sentence. Now, these words can be arranged in different ways when forming the RNA, meaning that each gene is actually adaptable and is able to send out more than one different instruction. Now, the way this links back to cancer predisposition is if people have a mutation in the DNA, that could cause a mistake in what word gets sent out in what order, and cells could get the wrong instruction. For example, instead of saying, don't grow now, a cell could be told, grow fast now, and over time, this could cause a tumor to develop. So in my PhD, I'm analyzing the DNA and the RNA from patients with colon cancer. And so far, I've been able to find more than 600 different DNA mutations, which cause changes in the ways these words are sent out in the RNA. These mutations are repeatedly found within the list of known predisposing mutations, meaning I can say that changes in alternative splicing are likely to be one of the reasons why some people are more likely to get colon cancer than others. Thank you.